Hi Tenfold, my name is Zanele from Vulega SSB and I would like you guys to help me with this question. Right, thank you for that question. Let's jump right into it and see what the question says to us. Right, in the figure, ABCD is a parallelogram. Aha, the importance of reading the love letter. A parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. Clearly, I'm going to indicate that off the bat. Right by looking at the question, I know that opposite sides are going to be parallel. With DC produced to R, the line segment AR cuts DB at P and CB at point M. Okay, cool. Right. What's the story? What's the story? Prove that triangle APB is similar to triangle RPD. So APB is this triangle, guys. APB, it's this triangle here at the top. So APB is that triangle. It has to be similar to triangle RPD. RPD is this one again. So we need to prove that those two triangles are similar to each other. So clearly, you can see, first of all, this angle right is it going to be equal to that angle so let me write them here angle b1 is equal to angle d6 they are alternate angles right since we've got lines that are parallel which is the fact that a b is parallel to dc right the second thing we need to find there is the fact that this angle is vertically opposite to this one so angle a p b will be equal to angle d p r and it's because they are vertically opposite to each other. They are vertically opposite angles. Right, then if I've proven that the B value is equal to the D, I have proven that B equals to um, the angle B, right, equals to the angle D. I have proven that the angle P equals to the angle P. Now I can claim that angle A3 is also equal to R, right there, yes. Then I can say that angle A3 is simply equal to angle R, and this is because of sum of angles of a triangle. You can even use uh, alternate angles, um, angles of triangle, uh, sum of angles of a triangle. Therefore, triangle APB is similar to triangle R, P, D, and this is because of angle, angle, angle. Right, apologies for rushing you guys there. We are really pressed for time and we want to access a lot of information for you guys and show you more things. Right, moving on to the second part of this question. Now, this is one of my favorite questions where they're asking you to prove that the ratio of AP to PM is the same as the ratio of PD to the line PB. Right, so yours is just to identify where is this line AP and this line PM. The line AP, the line PM, the line PB as well. So basically, this AP, right, and this line PB are simply members of um, a particular triangle. And we also need PD, right, in this particular question. So they're talking about this triangle because it's got the line AP and the line PD. We also want PM and PD versus this one, the second triangle there. Once more, we have to prove that they're similar to each other. Once we have proven that they're similar to each other, we can then claim that their corresponding sides are of equal proportion. Right. So remember, you must find three things in those triangles that are equal. Number one, this angle is equal to that one. So A, P, D is equal to B, P, M. Those angles are equal because they are vertically opposite to each other. They are vertically opposite. Right. The second thing that I'm going to uh, claim here is that this one, is equal to that one, which means angle D5. Angle D5, right? Angle D5 is simply equal to angle B2, and they are alternate angles. We can clearly see that. Right, and then lastly, obviously, we'll then conclude that angle A4 is simply equal to angle M7, and this is because of the fact that this is sum of angles, guys, in a triangle at up to 180 degrees. So therefore, the angle, the triangle DPA, right, triangle DPA will be similar to um, triangle BPM, right? And this is because of angle, 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 right? Then DP, uh, this side divided by that side, BP, will be equal to PA, right, PA divided by the side PM, and then it's going to be equal to the side DA divided by the side BM, right? Once you have done that, then you try and check which one are they talking about. They're talking about AP 
and they're talking about PB. So I'm going to look for AP. AP and PB, which means the examiner is interested in this combination. The examiner is interested in this combination. If you look at what we have right there, we have what they're looking for. It says to them, it says to us the AP. Clearly, there's your AP divided by PM. Yes, we do have that. Therefore, AP divided by PM is equals to um, DP divided by BP, which is what we had to really prove in this question.